Fabo on the phone, where you at? Here with Jones, last night was a risk Knew I should've stayed at home, caught light Oh, it was lit, Mayor Genie made a wish I got powers on my side, tell me how I'm gonna miss hmm. Smoke tower and a whip, couple chicks and a truck Alright, so we're here at Merch Festival I've just finished watching the purplest man since Prince <laughs> perform for us and shell it down. You feel me? I'm here with A2. I ain't worried by a bit. Smoke a plane, take a flight, pop a pill, take a trip. How you feeling, man? Yeah, man, I'm good, man. I can't complain, bro. Smoke free right now, so I'm clean. You hear me? Very, very Brain's clean. working, man. It was a good little show, man. Good little performance. What are you, um, what have been some of your best shows, like, memory wise? Because I know you just mentioned, like, you're usually in the zone, but yeah. what have been your best shows? Yeah. The bro, they're all a blur, man. I swear to you. But, um, Coco's mad. XOYO was the first mad one. Because that was the one where I was like, all right, cool. There's no like band, it's just me and the DJ. You get yeah. me? Oh, he's gone, man. He's gone. Yeah, me and my DJ Hako, it's just literally us two. He didn't want to be. He didn't want to be on cam. I asked him already. Oh, I swear <laughs> that. He cut out. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. The whole team's low key, bro. All but right. nah, X O Y O, Coco. I even had one um, in birthdays. Cause I like intimate. You get me? You can get messy. Like man comes from a grand rap down background. So. Surprises me to this day, bro. Listen, man was fully in. Like that's how I got my my lyrical ability. That's why I learned to like. Ah, right, this is how you craft lyrics together. But obviously, grime was a mad thing, so I had to slow it down for them. But that's a different story, right? But Portland, that one in Portland, crazy, bro. Now, obviously, that's Americans. So getting a fly from them, whole different experience, bro. They take Portland it. is bare white as well. How did you how did you manage that? You know what's mad? They got um, I don't want to say his name wrong. Amine, Amine, yeah. From over there, do you get me? So he was even opening up. No, he was the headline. What are some of those personal accolades that you want to achieve and complete? Day, every day I need to get better. Every day I need to feel like I've written a verse that I can't talk. Do you get me? I need that. Every time I need to... Um, bro, it's, that's how I feel. Sometimes I write verses off the rip and I don't feel them. Do you get me? Because I'm in my own thing and I'm like, nah, this ain't it, man. I know I can do much better. That's even why I stopped smoking. Listen, so when I went smoking, I was constructing lyrics mad. Do you get me? Just running them through, running them through. But in a smoke state, you just get into a certain pattern. Do you get me? So I'm trying to get back into the art issue. No, I'm constructing these words crazy, bro. Do you get me? So, it's all of them, man. You might see me in the pits. I don't hide out where I live. It's the sticks coming. There's sometimes you've written under the influence, and obviously you've been sober writing other times. What songs have we heard that you wrote sober? And what songs have we heard that you wrote under the influence? Everything prior to 2015, or around that time, was mainly under the influence. Hologram was under the influence. Hologram was. I kind of hear that though. That comes out in the music. <laughs> Shit, bro. Like, I was on my phone. I'm drunk. I checked it. Producer sent me a beat. I'm like, yo, what's this? Oh nice. shit, this shit's That's dope, inside. this is fire. You get me outside like mumbling some shit, took my brother's phone, yo, let me get this. Don't know what the fuck I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say sorry, you get me? Um Oxymoron, that was the first one. Was Oxymoron. I'll be alright, we do this stuff every time. So we lay when we slide. That music sounds so different, I was young, I was wide-eyed, you get me? So as I get older now, it's a different thing. I take more things into account, my artistry into account and all these other things. But at the time, it was whatever. How old are you now? Small, 29, man. Swear down. Season. I'm seasoned, man. Season. I'm telling you the grind thing. Bro, I'm seasoned. It's a different cloth over here, bro. Swear. Get me? Man, I don't even know. Man, I just think it's a normal thing. Yeah. Half of the people don't even know I make beats. Do you get me? I make sure my thing is... That's why it's just different. They ain't cloth like this in the city, bro. It's a whole entire different. I, f- I fully co signed that, you know. Oh, you know I fully co signed that. That's nah, the thing where everyone needs to know that shit. That's what separates man from everything. Yeah. Niggas know that man's mixing this shit down. Man's um, orchestrating the beat. If I get a beat from a producer, oh, I'm editing the beat up to make sure it's nice for my verses. The whole shebang, you get me? So I'm in that space there, man. I ain't even. I'm Ray Charles and everything. I just focus on my mission, which is yo. Make sure by the time you finish this thing, you're looking back and say, right, I left everything out here. Earlier, you mentioned, you know, some days a certain A2 comes out, yeah. the arrogant one, yeah. the one that's in his feelings, yeah, yeah, the one that just wants to harmonize for the GLM. Yeah. It's, a battle, it's a battle. Last time you went to the studio, yeah, which A2 came out? I feel like it was the arrogant one. Arrogant. Yeah, yeah, I go for everyday struggles, man. Like, 
I know if I want to kill everyone, I'll kill everyone. You get me? So I go through a struggle of remaining an artist or having that, that egotistical combat inside of grime. As I said, that's where I come from. So it's instilled in me. We're in a small room. Yo, my man's coming after. I gotta wipe him. I'm gonna wipe him, send him home, reload. You get me? So that, that is instilled in, man. But where it's now, I gotta be more. More woke to the, alright, cool, it's mellow, it's this, it's that. Bro, the arrogant side is always trying to climb through and say, nah, man, rip a nah. nigga's head off. Take that straight. Is he the loudest one in your head? Bro, he's the loudest, man. Always. Yeah. The, the, the calm, upset, I've been through things, A2 pops up because I'm like, alright, this is true, because you're feeling things. Yeah. But the arrogant one is just mad at everything. It's like, fuck that, man, I'm at this, I'm at that, I'm at that, you're dead. Yo, I'm a wipe you at everything, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I like the arrogant A2, you know. I like him too, but I don't think the world's ready for him, bro. I like the arrogance. I feel like he creeped out on purple. All spill, he creeped out a bit. Flex Luther. You know? <laughs> Flex Luther. Ghost World for set. You won't see me in the flesh. Running through for the checks. Yeah. Swear. Boys drip, never wear. Yeah. Bro, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. This is UK, man. Yeah. That is just how it goes, bro. Tile in a whip, couple chicks, and then twerking to my shit. You might see me in a bitch. I don't hide out where I live. It's a sticks. Come and risk it for the kid. Do it for me. 